Oh, we've got a great game for you today. I'm Martin Tyler, Alan Smith is with me. We're both really looking forward to describing it for you. Well, this is this amazing derby in this city of Milan, where both teams are at home, whichever way round the fixture list tells us. Yeah, and that's a bit of a, a strange situation for English fans, at least, who can't get their heads around sharing grounds, but uh, these two sets of supporters have, and we're looking forward to a, a good clash here. This is Inter's lineup. We've got it down as a 4-3-3. Yeah, it's a system that the Netherlands used to use all the time. I think really they invented it, and uh, plenty of countries have adopted it since. If it works, it's really uh, tough to handle. Thanks to this team. They know what to expect, but stopping them, Alan, that's a different matter altogether. Yes, quite, and uh, any opposition manager would have spoken uh, long and hard about their game plan, but uh, it's a wonderful way of playing and passing the movement. It's unstoppable when it's uh, hitting top four. Filippo Giacoletti is the referee for this game. So here we are for the kickoff. Looking forward to seeing how Milan do today. Paredes. Here's Suso. Perfectly, really sharp right from the off, and they've taken the lead here. Dangled the ball in with that touch, knew exactly where the goal was, where the ball was. Uh, all about time, and it was so clean that contact. The goal, wherever you look at it, it was very well taken. Nothing the manager can do at the moment. His team have lost momentum and they're also losing this match. Well, Milan are ahead. Leonardo Bittencourt. Plenty of width for the team to attack into. Silva, the shot's on. That would be a goal kick. Now, Jamari. There's some potential in this move. a brilliant challenge possession changes feet well, I like the look of this attack now can he take them on a couple of options for him from the free kick whether to go for goal or put it to where his teammates are lining up and a crack looking for the dip but it didn't quite come down quickly enough Andre Silva. Bauer. Well, There's good progress with this attack. Paredes. And that's no problem at all for trapping goal. Well, that looked a decent chance to attack until the player managed to read the pass. Got the ball and they're going at the opposition with speed. Just read the intentions of the opposition there to make the interception. Taken it well under pressure. Anticipated the direction of the pass and was able to intervene. Land's benefit. 
Brozovic. Jean Mario. Kovacic. He's cut it back looking for a teammate. Here's Suso. Attacking now. Free kick against Inter. Oh, well played the referee. He's gone back to the offence that deserved the bookie. He didn't want to stop the play at the time and he's quite entitled to do what he's doing here. Yeah, I think we all thought he was going to go back, but good to see advantage being played. Now, here's a chance to get at the opposition. And the referee has signalled for half-time and it's 1-0 here. The scoreline does reflect how poorly the team that's losing have been defending here today. Well, you cannot expect anything if you concede that many chances if you're as sloppy defensively as they were. Well, here we go again for the second half with Inter at the kickoff. Progress. Inigo Martinez. Brozovic. Alcacer. And they're moving forward, threads it through. Gel Mario. Brad. Brad! Great goalkeeper, great save. Well, he shouldn't have had a pair there, but he's so agile, this keeper. I bet it's gone out for a throw. Milan have substitutions in mind. Brozovic. Mateo Kovacic. Good interception. Pass threaded through. Just the keeper to beat. It's Arsenal who are in the news, in the transfer news. Wouldn't it just? I mean, the rumours have been swirling for quite some time. Let's wait and see if there's any substance to them. Brozovic. Kovacic. Jao Mario. Very good distance to the clearance. Maria. There's a dangerous feel to this attack. It's looking good from their point of view. Gets his cross in. That's going to be a goal kick. And now he's going to sort out that earlier incident and book the player who committed the foul. Yeah, he doesn't miss much, this ref. He's, he's eagle-eyed and uh, forward, but always going to produce the yellow for that. Well, Alan, here's the substitution now. He's played really well. He's a thorn in the side of those opposing defenders and took his goal really well. Renato Sanchez. Played down the wing, keeping the wide attack going. Able to cut that out with um, some sharp movement. Position. They've worked this attack very well into a quite a dangerous position now. In a great position to pull it back. He's got his shot off now. Off the post. Our coverage on EA Sports will continue, of course. So many games that we bring you, including this Calcio A fixture. Inter, they'll be facing Genoa away from home. Well, given their respective form, I think this is going to be a good game and big three points at stake. Odegaard. Paco Alcacer. Brozovic. Neatly intercepted. Nice stop. 
Alana still holding on to this one goal lead. Have they got it in them? Internazionale here to salvage at least a draw from Paredes. Oh, well done, the goalkeeper, and he's hung on to the ball. That could have been the pass to determine the match, really. Condog beer. Inigo Martinez. It's so frustrating for them. They're on the attack, they can't break through. As we come to the end, it's a free kick here. Rash Allen, reckless. Well, it is. He saw the ball and he thought he could win it, but just as fraction off. Paredes. It was an interesting pass, wasn't it? But it didn't get through. And the referee has brought a halt to it. That's full time. Final thoughts, not a real post-mortem, Alan, but obviously disappointment is a key. Uh, and they've lost a the game that they were desperate to win. Yeah, there'll be a bit of an inquest, I think, because they didn't quite do themselves justice. So plenty of work on the training ground next week.